So I've had several people make suggestions on what my future videos should be on, which I love. Please keep them coming. Um, so I, you guys asked about nutrition and what I like to eat. So I thought I would put a little video together of one of my favorite dishes. Uh, nutrition is something I've just started keeping track of since last April. I've always known I need lots of protein. I've always gotten about 180 grams of protein in my diet daily. You want to at least try to get a gram or so or more. So I've been really good at that. And then whenever I need to kind of get my weight down a little bit, I would just cut out carbs. Well, this last year I found out that just cutting the carbs wasn't doing it. I was getting down to 50 carbs, so almost no carbs. The weight wasn't coming off. And it's not like it's a lot of weight, but you want to get down um, to be lighter. And it just, uh, my workouts were kind of sluggish. I just knew there was a better way to do this, but I really didn't want to take the time and research it and figure it out. So Lane Norton was on our world team with us in Finland and he suggested that I work with uh, or contact Paul Raviala of uh, Pro Physique. So I did that. I started working with Paul in April on like a preliminary basis because I wasn't entirely sure how involved in this nutrition I wanted to get and I didn't know if it was gonna work real well. well I'm still with Paul. Uh, we really looked at my weight, really using macros. I've been using the My Macros, ma ma app, my macros app. Um, Jason Lowy of USA Powerlifting made it. And I check in with Paul each week and we look at my, um, my carbs, my protein, my fat. We look at fiber a little bit and we sort of make adjustments to that on a week to week basis where I am in my um, competing phase. So it's been working great because now I'm eating way more carbs, a lot less fat. I was eating a lot of fat apparently. And um, my weight has never been better and I've never been stronger. But I have to say it's been a life change and it's been somewhat difficult and frustrating. Finding out um, which foods you can eat and telling them to eat these or make these little numbers at the bottom of what you want to get for the day. So. I've gotten good at finding things I like to eat now that fit within this diet. Um, and I'll talk more about that later. But I have to thank my friend Kathleen, um, Kathleen Moore. She's a professor at James Madison University, but she's also just a really good cook. She's one of those people who can just like, oh, I'll just do this and this, and then I have this great meal, and I can't do that. But one of the things that she showed me how to make, um, I think it was last fall, was chia pudding. I love tapioca pudding. I love all puddings. So this chia pudding is really, really awesome and yummy. So it is so simple. It'll take you five minutes to make it. That's why I'm sharing it with you. So I use uh, almond milk. I love this Califia milk because for almond milks go, it doesn't taste super, super watery. It feels like it's got a milk substance to it. Um, and it does not have a lot of carbs. One carb, three fat, one protein for eight fluid ounces. So to make this pudding, you just pour in one cup of almond milk. So one cup, put it in your dish. I'm gonna put it in this dish because I don't wanna dirty another dish. So you put one cup of almond milk. Then you pick your favorite vanilla protein powder. I love this Quest Nutrition Way 44. I think the taste is fantastic. I look forward to drinking my protein shakes because I think they taste so good. The vanilla is off the charts awesome. So I put one scoop of protein powder in there. I like this protein powder because, let's see, one scoop is four carbs and 22 protein. Usually I put two in a protein shake, but for this dish we'll just put one. So then you just want to mix up your milk and your protein powder. Use a little whisk here, just so it's not bumpy. It doesn't take much. It's just so simple. And then, after you get that kind of mixed up, you're gonna take one quarter cup 
And you're gonna take chia seeds. These have been in the media a lot lately as um, being awesome. It was eaten by Aztecs for strength and a staple food in their diet. Who knew? So anyway, they're pretty good. There's only four, four, four total fat, five carbs, and two protein, and one tablespoon. So you're going to take one quarter cup of chia seeds, toss them in. It doesn't matter what brand chia seeds, there's all sorts of different brands. So then you just mix this up good and just swirl it around in there, try to get the sides so it all gets in there. And you're going to put this in the refrigerator for one hour. It only takes an hour, maybe even less. So we're going to do food magic. I'm going to put this in and a magic one's going to come out like on TV. So this is the one I made yesterday. You're going to want to, it gets a little bit clumpy, so the first, you want to stir it up really good in the beginning. And so it may not look the prettiest, but it tastes so good. I think it tastes just like tapioca pudding. Maybe even better. So, mmm, good. I figured out the nutrition on the chia pudding. And one of these is considered two helpings. So you would divide it in half and eat and into um, two parts. I usually just estimate eat half the bowl and put it back in. I just go to here. I went ahead and calculated the uh, nutri nutrients for that based on the nutrition labels. So if I go to custom and favorites and then I go to chia sea pudding. There we go. One helping, which is half a serving of what we just made. So half of that bowl has uh, 140 calories, 28 protein, 15 carbs, and six fat. So not bad. So I can just put that in as my afternoon snack and we're good to go. So that's your recipe for today, chia seed pudding. And uh, maybe I'll come up with some more later.